The number 13. It's considered in Western culture the unluckiest number, so much so that there's a name for fear of the number 13, triskaidekaphobia. But, as someone who is named after the number 13, I've always asked myself, why is this number considered to be unlucky? I mean, I've got my own segment on Fast Forward. My left doesn't seem that unlucky. Like many phobias, fear of the number 13 is based on myths and unfounded claims. For example, people believe that the fear of 13 goes so far as the Babylonian times of Hammurabi, where he supposedly omitted a 13th article in his laws. But it turns out to have just been a mistranslation. And while the number 13 doesn't directly affect Judeo-Christianity, some Triskaidekaphobes claim that the fear of 13 came about because Judas was the 13th person to sit at the Last Supper. But again, the Bible never made a point on what order the apostles sat down, so once again the idea is conjecture. To tell you the truth, you'd be surprised at how deep the superstition has run. Hotels delete whole 13th floors, some number stalls call 13 12A, so there must be some relation to the fear of 13. Right? Well, back in the 1880s when mysticism was being contested by Western religion, there was a club started in New York called the 13 Club. Their first meeting was with 13 members eating at a venue's 13th room on January 13, 1881 at 8.13 p.m. And each member had to walk under a ladder to get in and sit at a table in front of mounds of salt. While the club had the formality of a book club meeting, all members of the first 13 club survived. In fact, 13 club branches sprang up throughout the United States and included prestigious members such as Chester A. Arthur and Theodore Roosevelt. So, while many consider the number 13 unlucky, it's about as true as saying that wearing pearls on a wedding is bad luck. It's all conjecture, and it all depends on whether or not you choose to let a number guide your outlook. My name is 13, and horror is my trade. Ah!